big welcome to our channel. Have you heard that Malta launched its startup residency program to attract non-European entrepreneurs in a drive to turn the island into a startup hub? If not, let me tell you all about it. My name is Trafid Buzatil, co-founder of Portico and Bridge, where we help high net worth and ultra high net worth individuals just like yourselves achieve travel and financial freedom by becoming global citizens. The Maltese government launched its third option for gaining residence through investment. The initiative allows third country entrepreneurs to set up or relocate their business ideas and technology to Malta in exchange for a three-year residency permit for the founder, his dependents and core employees. Non-European entrepreneurs who want to develop or expand their business in Malta may apply. So let's have a quick run through the salient conditions. The first one is that the startup must be innovative or in the new tech space. The applicant must submit a detailed business plan to Malta Enterprise, the government body entrusted to attract industry and startups to Malta. The entity must either be a new operation, established operations can apply as long as they have not been registered for more than seven years in any jurisdiction globally. The third condition, or excuse me, the fifth condition is only third country nationals can apply, bar certain nationalities such as Afghanistan, North Korea, Iran. Democratic Republic of Congo, Somalia, South Sudan, Syria, and Yemen. The company must have a paid up capital of 25,000 euro. For startups with more than four founders, an additional 10,000 in share capital per founder is needed. The maximum number of founders is six. The seventh condition is that Malta Enterprise will assess the applicant's business viability and monitor the economic process of the approved project. Naturally, due diligence will be conducted to ascertain that the applicants are fit and proper. And the founder or the co-founders must reside and pay taxes in Malta. This is a very important point. Other minor requirements are that the applicants must have health insurance, be over the age of 18, no criminal conduct, and also they, that they have not applied for any other residence or citizen program and got rejected in any jurisdiction in the world. And they must prove source of wealth and funds. Those who qualify and their immediate family will benefit from a three-year residency permit, as I mentioned, after which they will be able to renew residency for another five years, while core employees earning more than €30,000 can renew for a further three years. After five years living legally in Malta, they can apply for long-term residence. The question is, why Malta? Malta is a member of the European Union, giving the startup an immediate access to the European market the most significant economic zone globally. Also, due to the geographical location of Malta, it makes a perfect location or base for those companies that want to access the Middle East or Africa. Another important point is that a currency in Malta is the euro, thus providing stability and a hedge against currency fluctuations, naturally if business is done in Europe has one of the lowest inflation rates in Europe. Malta is an English-speaking country where English is an official language. It offers a highly educated labor force, a lower cost of doing business than in your other European country, counter, countries, an excellent work-life balance, 320 days of sunshine a year, and lower wages than in other European countries. It offers one of the best healthcare services in the world. The World Health Organization ranked the Maltese public healthcare system as a fifth best in the world. 
and the United Nations ranks Malta as a third safest country in the world. Will Malta succeed in its endeavor to become a startup hub? I believe yes. It will reach its goal for the following reasons. One, ease of doing business due to the small size of the island, an efficient civil service, a highly educated labor force. In Malta, we have a saying, we do business the British way while sipping a cappuccino. I think that says it all. Secondly, world class, it has world-class healthcare services and a British system of education, coupled with an ease of living due to the hospitality and friendliness of us Maltese. Remember, Malta has already built a robust reputation as a financial services center, becoming a major international player in this field. It has the sixth largest shipping registry in the world. It succeeded in becoming the number one destination for online gaming companies, all of which have attracted thousands of expats that live and work on the island. Let's put it this way. In my opinion, the credentials are there. If you like our efforts, we would appreciate if you would help us by pressing the like and subscribe button. For those who want to learn more about how you can secure your travel and financial freedom, please visit our website, porticonbridge.com. Send us a message and start your journey to become a global citizen. At Porticon Bridge, a world without borders. Thank you.